the ongoing struggle in modern era. So in more than a decade of school, desegregation failed to achieve equal access for African Americans. Louisville, Jefferson County became in 1975 one of the many school districts nationally in which courts ordered widespread busing in search of racial fairness. White mobs and a resurgence of the Ku Klux Klan resulted, but a biracial coalition of activists, moderates, and elected officials steadily built support for busing, and the school plan continued past the expiration of the busing order and into the 21st century with widespread community support. So that's, that's how white people behave, very similar to the Chick-fil-A debacle right now. White people get pissed off with any oppressed people try to stand up for their rights. Experts assessed the local schools as the nation's most desegregated in 2003, but further court actions in 2007 curtailed the use of pupil assignment to achieve racial integration. The civil rights movement of the post-World War II era gave rise to many other social justice movements in the final third of the 20th century. New movements adopted as tactics of nonviolent direct action and mass protest and hundreds of young people who had gained organizing skills while demanding interracial segregation then applied their know-how to issues such as gender equality, disability rights, and ending many other forms of discrimination. In the 1990s, a local movement called Fairness drew together strands of the older civil rights community to end discrimination based on sexuality as part of a wider vision of social and racial freedom. Meanwhile, leaders like Reverend Louis Coleman, an outspoken African-American minister, kept racial fairness in the public spotlight into the 21st century, agitating and mobilizing rallies for an end to police violence and environmental racism and for the equitable hiring of minorities by the state.